Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation on what's new in 2020 Design Live. My name is Santiago Morales and I'm the product manager of this amazing tool that allows you to create projects, kitchen and bath, to wow your customers. Today's presentation will be focusing on version 13 and its latest development that we've done throughout the course of the last year. We're going to start by talking about Easy Render, which is our latest rendering engine that allows you to create astonishing nice renderings in a fraction of a time. How much, you would say? Up to 80% faster than our preceding Redway rendering engine. So with this tool, you'll be able to create, as I mentioned, high quality rendering in a fraction of a time. Your lighting is automatically factored to save time. And of course, minimal training is required to use Easy Render. Why? Because we simplified a lot the lighting controls of your scenes. You'll have, you're now have three easy sliders to set up, one being the artificial light. These are lights that are placed right along the walls, so that you can evenly light lit up a room. The second slider, which is the one we recommend the most you use, is called the natural light slider, which controls the light intensity comes, coming from your doorways, windows, and, and glass doors. And then finally, you have a third slider called the user lights, which is any user's lights um, like lamps or ceiling like like spot recess you might add manually to your, uh, to your scene. These, of course, are not necessary, but if you'd like to add them, you can control their intensity through that third and final slider. These are other examples that you can see they've came, that, that proves that we came a long way with Easy Render. You can see the light behavior is astonishing. You can see the shadow is coming in very nicely in all areas of the scene, uh, especially the light coming in from the windows. Uh, the sun looks great, and the texture is really blemishing in, the, in a lot of these areas. So it really feels like a warm, cozy area, therefore making your scenes more lively as you present them to your customers. The additional or the next functionality that I'd like to talk to you about is Design Live Share. Design Live Share has been embedded in version 13 and it allows or rather promotes the collaboration between you and your end customer. Okay, how does it do it? What well, it allows you to share a perspective that you have chosen to do to share through a URL. Now, with this URL, your customers can open a web browser, whether they are on a mobile device, Apple, I mean, iPad, or a desktop application to view the content of this specific URL. Let's take a look within 2020 Design how this is achieved. So let me take a, let me, let me bring up 2020 Design Live. So for those of you who are not familiar with it, this is 2020 Design Live. It's a CAD tool that allows you to, of course, conceptualize your next kitchen or next bathroom. And you have at the center of the screen, the center area, you have your elevation and floor plan view. These are 2D representations of your, of your scene. On the left-hand side, I have access to my local browser or cloud browser, which essentially is our catalog to get your items from. So you can simply drag and drop your cabinets onto, from the catalog to your floor plan or elevation. On the right-hand side, you have information box and the placement wheel. And at the top, which is already, you're most likely familiar if you're using a Microsoft products like Word or, um, or Outlook, uh, you have this ribbon with houses many tabs, which also regroups a series of functionalities that are adequate for a specific stage of your planning process. For example, you would start your process in home where you input your design, design information, your custom information. You'll next continue your, your journey through the room layout where you place your walls, construction lines, doors, windows, openings, and create additional elevation views. Then you're most likely going to go into your items tab where you're going to go add additional items from the cloud browser, from SketchUp, we have an interface through SketchUp, which opens up a whole slew of catalogs item that you can import right there and then within 2020 Design Live. You can also add countertops, lightings, you name it. The, we, we really have a nice variety of items that can be added through 2020 Design Live. 
The next tab over is annotation, where you can add additional, of course, dimension to your, to your uh, floor plan or elevation, notes, lines, and 2D shapes. And you're most likely going to finish your journey with the presentation tab, where you're going to create your perspective. So I'm going to bring up this perspective here. And now going back to the functionality that at hand is Design Live Share, which allows you to share your perspective with your customer in a remote fashion. How do you do that? Well, in the Render tab of your perspective view, you have now a new button call called Design Live Share. By clicking on this button, the system will take a snapshot of that image and put it on a URL. That URL can then therefore be provided to the Kent's customer through an email, a text message, you choose the media. But once they receive this URL, they click on it, they can now view it through their web browser. So I'm seeing here the exact same image that I've shared. So you can really think a bit broader as to what kind of use you want to make this uh, with this. Do you want to talk about your kitchen? Do you want to get your customer feedback on maybe well, the type of cabinet doors, the, the finish, the color, the, the, the layout of, of the floor plan? If they want to add additional cabinets or remove others or change the hood, name it. The, the possibilities are endless, of course. All right. The next functionality that I'd like to talk to you about is the bokeh effect. Which is, an, uh, which is also called the focus effect and is applied directly on the perspective image. So going back to design, let's take a look as, as to how this is done. I'm gonna select here uh, another viewpoint, a name view, and I'm gonna go from the bottom right. I now have a new position or a position view for my kitchen. And what this functionality, the bokeh focus effect, will permit me to do is to uh, provide more emphasis in a certain area of my kitchen. In this case, what I'll do is I'll select my grapes, my bowl of grapes, to be the center of the action, therefore having my whole island being the center of attention. So what do I do? I'll go into the effects tab. And in the effects tab, I have a, slew, a whole slew of controls that are really available for me that will impact instantaneously the look and feel of my image. I can play with the brightness, the contrast, the shadow highlights, the color temperature, saturation. So all these sliders, if I move them, will directly impact the look and feel of my image. I'd like to draw your attention here to the right-hand side, where is my blurring controls, which is the, fu the functionalities that we'd like to address right now. So I'll start by adding some blurring in my image. So maybe update the slider and you can see right away that my whole image is blurred out. I want now to select a pane of focus. So if I click on this, you'll see that my mouse now is converted through a crossbar. Cross bar. I select the bowl of grape. And now my bowl of grape is in total focus. You might notice that my island is not entirely in focus, only a certain area is. I just need to expand that range to include my entire island. So if I select the focus radius slider and I let it pop out the island, now my island is totally in focus and my background is out of focus. You might say that my background is a bit too out of focus, and it's not really realistic. So maybe I want to tone down on the blurriness. So if I bring this back down to something more reasonable, you now see that my image looks quite astonishing. So really, you can now wow your customers and provide more attention to your island here in the front. Okay. And if I'd like to now play with these sliders, I can. So maybe what I'd like to do is provide a more warmish feeling, sort of an evening scene. And here I go, and I have this nice uh, orangey look that I can now uh, present to the customer. How do I do that? I could just still use my Design Live Share button. And if I click this, a new snapshot is taken and put onto the web page on this URL. And if I bring this over, 
I now have provided the capability to view that new perspective with the additional uh, controls or changes that I just did. Cool. All right, let's go back to the presentation and talk about, oh, 360 multipoint navigation. I'm really happy about this functionality. So what I'll do is I'll go straight into this project that we have open and I'll change my view position to another one. So since version, let's say version 10, we came out with a 360 panoramic image where you create uh, points within your projects and you can rotate your point of view into the various areas of your kitchen. Now, since version 13, you can now add additional points for you to move around the kitchen. So if I click on, in this case, Kitchen North, I have a different perspective of my kitchen and I can also look around from this point of view what my kitchen looks like. So it really gives another and better understanding of the space involved. And of course, in this case, I've added another viewpoint, which is the actual laundry room, which is behind the refrigerator. And if I click it here, I can go to, again, that 360 panoramic image that I was created previously and understand the room layout from that point of view. So a really neat functionality that I think you'll appreciate. On to my next topic, automated deployment and installation. So this is really an interesting one, especially if you come from an earlier state uh, releases of 2020 design. You're, there was always this kind of challenge trying to get uh, in tune with which version was the latest one, or if there was a new one that it's available for you to download. Now we have the automated uh, deployment and installation notification right there and then embedded within the product. So within 2020 design, you're, you'll get a notification for you to, uh, to know that a new version is available and you can press on the installation button, which not only will download the new version, but it will also automatically install it for you. So you don't miss out any, on, any new on any new functionality or uh, stabilization and, and bug fixes. Cool. Next one, we're going to talk about 2020 Manager. 2020 Manager uh, really address a, a key area uh, of, of your business process, let's say. Uh, multiple designers has, are, are tracking their various customers, prospects with really different uh, tools that are not always convivial. Some of them will use a whiteboard. Some of them will use notes, notes uh, notepads, uh, or even Excel sheet. Well, 2020 Manager addresses that need. It's actually a web-based application that allows you to store all your customer in a central location. So you'll get more optimized and you get a better visibility on your business and your task to do, to perform. In that case, you'll be able to win more deals through the dashboard of your sales funnels. Okay, so web, uh, a browser web-based application that could be accessed anywhere at any time. And the key, key takeaway here is that it, take, it integrates with 2020 Design Live. So within 2020 Design Live, you'll be able to upload your kit files and your projects and have them maintained and accessible from 2020 Manager. Now, this is really interesting because now you don't have to keep in mind and try to remember which version of which files goes to which customer. Everything is taken care of for you if you're using 2020 Manager. So I suggest you take a look at it. I think it's really interesting. Oh yes, this next functionality is actually a request that's been uh, that's been voiced many times by our designers uh, community is the capability to track the time that you spend per project. So we've just uh, made it available in version 13.2, and this is what it looks like. So through the time tracker, you'll will be able to track every session that you spend with your uh, with a specific project. So be able you'll be able to view what how much time you spend on any given day. Uh, you you'll be able to edit it if you think you spend way too much time on maybe perhaps rendering time, or maybe you're idling while doing other steps. You might want to edit this. So at the end, your total duration time is more accurate, okay? 
So two use cases, one being that you'll be able to price or bill your customer more accurately if you're billing on an hourly rate. And the second use case is you'll be able to quote uh, future projects based on uh, already com um, completed tasks or completed projects. So if you know a new project is similar to a previous project that you worked in the past, you can look up your previous project, determine the amount of time you spent on it, and better quote your customer on the next task. Cool. What's in development? This functionality has also been requested from the community and it will be made available to you guys in version 13.3, end of March. So for those of you who are not familiar with this kind of issues or requests is that at one point you place certain items and you very rarely place these items again or modify them uh, throughout the course of your projects. This is specifically interesting when you're talking about doors, walls, windows for that you set up initially and they are very rarely changed. And you don't want them to move or shift position by mistake while you drag other items in your scene. For example, when you're uh, stretching cabinets, moving textures around, you don't want to move a window or a door or a wall that could potentially uh, produce errors in, in your coding process. So once you're happy with these set of categories items, such as wall, windows, and doors, in this case, as an example, you can lock these in place and therefore don't, you'll be, um, you'll, you won't have the issues of mis mistakenly grabbing and editing them when you don't want. If you do want to edit them again afterwards, you can simply unlock them and then relock them at will. Cool. And that concludes our presentation today. I hope this was informative to you. If you're looking for any additional information, we do recommend you access our 2020spaces.com site. It's filled with interesting articles, uh, training videos, online training um, classes uh, that you get the most out of your 2020 design tool. Again, my name is Santiago and happy to be here. Take care.